Australia has the ability to significantly cut our dependence on China and lead the world in green energy tech. That's according to a new report from the country's top scientific body, the CSIRO. It's highlighted opportunities to turn minerals abundant in Australia into high-end green tech. And as our science and tech correspondent Brett O'Halloran reports, one particular mineral is key. Our phones, computers, cameras and cars. All reliant on ancient rocks. Here we have an actual spodumene sample. These rocks are processed into lithium, the key ingredient in rechargeable batteries as well as solar panels. Without lithium, green energy is impossible. It's such an important element for decarbonising our economy. Important and abundant here. Around half of the world's mined lithium is from Australia and it's estimated we've only accessed 20% of what's out there. We're pushing the, the limits of our exploration technologies, creating new tools and really focusing on new thinking and new learning. A CSIRO report released this week suggests we could be doing much more than simply mining lithium. It says Australia could become a world leader in turning raw critical minerals into high-end products essential in the global green energy transition. Australia's research ecosystem and our industry possess uh, world-leading capabilities in the refining of lithium, cobalt, graphite and rare earth products. That's exactly what's being done here. Workers at this Brisbane pilot plant are turning lithium rocks into special powder for EV batteries. It's already secured contracts with several foreign green tech firms and they want government support to help them and other similar companies become major international players. We need to start to scale up the battery value chain here in Australia. Uh, we're already coming from behind in terms of where Australia sits. Actually building the batteries or battery components rather than sending the materials offshore could generate billions of dollars and hundreds of jobs and reduce our dependence on China, which dominates the market and could cut off our supply if relations sour again. The opportunity is real, it's now. The federal government recently announced more than half a billion dollars in funding through the Battery Breakthrough Initiative to make that happen. Though lithium prices have dropped dramatically over the past 18 months, due in part to decreased demand for electric vehicles, that's for some Aussie miners to slow or suspend operations. But most analysts anticipate a rebound, and that fluctuation, some believe, makes it even more worthwhile to support a sovereign lithium processing industry here. It makes sense if the country is concerned about perhaps uh, geopolitical diplomatic tensions to try and shore up our domestic manufacturing base for those critical battery components. Critical components from a critical mineral deemed crucial for Australia to secure. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.